Welcome to A Picky Vegan. Today, I had my feelings crushed, and I mean crushed. We were going to have Chipotle's plant-based Chipotle chorizo taco. And I get there, and I'm waiting in line. You guys, I am person number seven. And I'm like, okay, I got time, I can wait, you know. And I start looking around, and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't see it on the board up there, and I don't see it on the glass. And I said, but that don't mean nothing because that's what happens. Things that become regular, they don't put on the glass. And when I get up there, I asked the gentleman, I said, because he goes, what do you want? And I said, I would like the chipotle chorizo taco. And he was like, oh, we don't carry that anymore. I'm going, what? Oh, my goodness. I was crushed. I walked right out of there. I was, I was number seven in line, and there still was like about five or six people behind me. So what we did was, Daughter Diaries, my favorite, and my girl. <laughs> she was like, well, we'll just make our own. So we actually used Plant Boss, Plant Taco Mild, which you guys have seen in other videos. We used it for nachos. We used it for taco salad, hard shell tacos. And then we haven't actually done the empanadas yet. <laughs> we haven't done the empanadas, but we did do the taco burger. Yes. So we use it. It's so good. And they have mild and pico de gallo. Yes. Those are the different flavors that we like. So she came. we came home. And she cooked it up, and so we're going to be using paste picante sauce. Yep, so I added the salsa into it. And every time I make it, it's a little different. The last batch we made had jalapenos in it. We don't have any right now. But for extra seasonings, I added a original taco mix that we had up in the cabinet. Okay. It comes pre-seasoned, but I want to make it stronger because it is mild, and it's not necessarily hot, per se. So I'm just trying to get rid of it, but we have the spread hot seasoning that we've had for a while. You can use this or um, chipotle seasoning. Right. And I mean the actual um, seasoning itself, not from the restaurant. And then also to get, to get rid of it, this is a different taco seasoning. This is on the smokier side, so I don't use a whole lot of this. But those two seasonings with the original taco mix and some of the salsa. And then we're going to be using our jasmine rice. Yes. So we're to, gonna, hmm? you go ahead. No, we're going to use the jasmine rice. Uh, but you can also just use regular white rice. It <laughs> yes. doesn't have to be jasmine. It's just, or, just a little sticky, which we like. Which, Or you can use brown rice. Yeah. Because it, that was what was offered at Chipotle. You can yeah. use brown rice, the jasmine rice, or regular white rice. Mm -hmm. And then remember the other day we actually did the vegetables, all of the peppers and the spinach. So we have bell peppers that we're going to be putting in there. I will be putting that in mine. And now, even though Chipotle does not have the plant-based taco meat anymore, they still have all their sauces. Yep, so you can ask for it on the side and it comes in a small container like this. It might come in a bigger one if you ask for more, I'm not sure. We've only ever asked for this we size. Ask for that. But mm -hmm. you can get the hot salsa, which is what this is, or the pico de gallo, or the green one. I don't know what it's called, but it's the and green. Then, or the corn one. Oh yeah. Because there's also a corn one, and that's something yeah. that Cody likes. But either way, you can always go to Chipotle and get the sauces, and then yeah. still make your own. But mm -hmm. have, have that little Chipotle flavor to it. Yeah, or add your own salsas if you like them better. Yes. Like either this salsa, or I'm sure green chili would be really good. Oh, I bet it would be. Yeah. So that's going to be our replacement since Chipotle is no longer going to offer it. Yep. We're showing you how to make it at home, and it's probably going to cost less. Yeah, we got these small tortilla shells. Mm -hmm. I know the name's hard to read. But Any small tortilla shells will do. Exactly. These are flour tortilla yes. shells, which is... But Chipotle uses just flour tortilla shells. Yes. So we got these. We heat them up for a little bit. Meat's done. So I think we're ready to make our tacos. Everything is done. But we wanted to share with you about our traumatic day. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm still just hurt by this. I, my mouth was all set because it was so good. And yesterday I said, well, let's just do that tomorrow. It makes me wonder if they had it yesterday. We missed it by a day. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. All right. So you have just tuned into A Picky Vegan. And we were sharing with you how to make your own tacos that were very similar to what Chipotle made. Yeah, and even though we're using Plant Boss for the taco, because it's not technically chorizo, there was chorizo. That's right. There are other vegan meats you could try. I know Beyond the Meat makes a, like a brick of meat, essentially. It's not chorizo, it's not chorizo uh, flavored. You could add your right. own flavors to it. That's more uh, bland and easier to mix stuff into. This already has a flavor. Yes. But... If your Chipotle also isn't carrying the chorizo like ours isn't anymore, this is your chance to try some different tacos. <laughs> yes, and make your own and have fun with it. Yeah. Because you'll be very surprised. If you already like tacos, 
going vegan shouldn't make it harder. It should actually make it a little bit easier because now you get to be very creative yeah. and do some different things. Because, for example, chipotle, as far as I know, doesn't have cauliflower rice. No, it does not. So if someone wants to do that, they can do it this way. And you can also add beans to it because I yeah. was getting some um, black beans in mine. So yeah. we could have added our refried beans or you can add black beans or pinto beans because that's what they offered. And so they still have black beans and pinto beans. It's just that the chipotle chorizo is gone. Yeah. And we weep. Chipotle, why didn't y'all reach out to us? <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. So that's our fun for the evening. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments below and hit that notification button so you don't miss any good videos. And we will see you next time. Bye-bye.